Hi guys, uh, in this video we will see how to implement the D flip flop on Verilog. So if you are new on my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Let's get started. First, we have to see the throat table of the D flip flop. The D flip flop is very simple. The Q of T is the previous state and the next state would be uh, Q T plus 1. And here you can see the value of D. The exact value will be followed by the next state. Now for just implement this code on Verilog, you have to write this command module d flip flop. Uh, this is my function which is having q as an output and d and clock which is an input. Right now I am defining the inputs which is d and the clock and my output is a register. Why I am just taking it register because I have to store the value of uh, output or q now always at the rise edge of the clock begin always rising edge of the clock the q will follow the value of d so whatever be the value of d at the rising edge of the clock the q will follow the value of d and then you have to just end this and end module so this is the very simple code that you have to write and now you have to run this code it takes time now here you can see our code is successfully run here we have zero errors right now what should you have to do is to verify the d flip flop code we have to add wave and just go to uh, tools and uh, click on rtl simulation now you can see here uh, our model sim is run and rtl simulation uh, we will see the inputs and outputs combination of the D flip flop. Now just uh, go to work and just double click on uh, D flip flop. So these uh, these are my uh, two inputs clock and D and the output. Right click on this and add wave. So these are the wave uh, that I have added here. Now uh, for D flip flop clock click on clock and select OK and you have to force the D I am taking the value of uh, D here is 0 now OK uh, click on run button here you can see this is clock wave and this is my D input wave and this is my output wave Q now I am just changing the value of D to verify my design. So force first I have taken 0 now I am taking the value is 1. So let's see the next state of the clock is following the value of D. So the next state of the Q. So this is my current state. Current state is not following the value of D but the next state following the value of D right now I am changing it again so now I am taking it again at 0 now you can see here the value of D is 0 so the current state the value of D is 0 here and the current state is 1 so what would be the next state now you have to run this the next state following the value of D so thank you so much for watching this video so if you have any question you can just comment below